Well, hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Okay. I'd like to talk a little bit more about Star Trek Picard Season 3. Now, I used to be a Star Trek fan up until the last decade where I am finding myself not liking anything remotely related to Star Trek up until season three of Picard. I watched season one. I did not watch season two. And so let's talk about the anomaly of Star Trek Picard season three. And for some reason, all these elements aligned and this individual, which I, Terry Metalis, hopefully I pronounced his name correctly, did a fabulous job with Star Trek Picard Season 3. Now, I refer to this as the anomaly. I did kind of watch Discovery in and out, and I kind of got glimpse of Christopher Pike, I think is the captain's name, who would, you know, in canon, be the original first captain of the Starship Enterprise before Kirk. And then I heard news that he was going to have a spinoff. And I think that is called Strange New Worlds, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. And I had high hopes for that series. And unfortunately, although a lot of people are liking it, it is still, pardon the expression, it is still too woke for me. Uh... I just remember this scene where Pike and Spock are hugging each other on the floor, afraid of something. And this was just character breaking, canon breaking. These, this is n not the Star Trek I know. And at the end of every episode, there's a girl boss that magically finds the solution to whatever problem arised in the episode so no was not liking that whatsoever and i just couldn't even care to watch season two of picard and then people are like no give season three a chance you you won't regret it and yes it is an homage it is is it fan service giving what fans want to watch? I don't think so. These characters that I grew up with, seeing them the way that they were on the screen, was absolutely heartfelt and... I can't say it enough how much, you know, I'm all, almost breaking into tears here. How much fun it was to see them again on screen. So if you haven't watched season three of Picard, do watch it. You do not need to see seasons one and seasons two. Now, having said that, there are some characters that were introduced in season one and season two. One of these is Raffi. And her character arc, from what I can see, is all over the place. Uh, yeah. And I did not watch season two, so I did not know, or I, at the time I did not know, that her and Seven of Nine had this relationship going on. Now, I have nothing against stuff. Like, I know it, I don't have to see it. You know? And I'm okay with that. And a lot of people, well, one in particular commented that, you know, it would have been perfect if she, if Rafi would have not been anywhere near this season, 
season three of Picard. Which, okay, I'll take it with a grain of salt. Uh, I do remember her from season one. I really did not like her character back then. Now in season three, sorry if I'm getting into spoilers, her and Worf did have a certain chemistry on screen. And it was okay for me. I I was really disliking the first time I saw her back on screen. I said, oh no, oh no, this is... People told me that this was going to be a good Star Trek. And no, I don't want to see Raffi here. But like five minutes later, it's okay. Ten minutes later, it's still okay. Uh, after seeing... All the episodes in season three. Oh man, there is so much good out of this season that I can't nitpick certain things. And Rafi kind of was integrated in a fluid way. So if I were to take her character from season one. I would have said no way and having seen season three it's like it's okay it's it, it, it's okay and it's also okay for people still to not want her anywhere near Star Trek but you know at the end of season three Terry Metalis kind of set up the next story of the Enterprise. The Titan was renamed the Enterprise. Sorry for the spoilers. And Seven of Nine is in the captain's chair. And to her right is Raffi. And to her left is Jean-Luc's son and Beverly's son. Now this sets up a spin-off. And in one of the interviews with Terry Metalis, he just let it out there. If he had to call a spinoff, what would he call it? And he called it Star War, uh, no, Star Trek um, Legacy. And unfortunately, I cannot find anything on the internet saying that this is a project that is going forth. I think people are still waiting to see how Picard season three is going to do. And hopefully they will hire this very talented person. That, I mean, it's such an anomaly. Having seen everything we've seen Star Trek go through this past decade and all of a sudden get, whoa, this is kind of the Star Trek I grew up with. This is what I want to see. Is this person going to be given a chance to do the, his spinoff? And I hope he does get the chance. That's why I'm kind of putting out this video here. I truly hope that Terry Metalis gets a chance to do a spin-off and a season one and season two and season three. I do want to see his storytelling because in Picard season three, he kind of had to deal with the two previous seasons. There were already elements there and he had to work around that. I would like to see what, what this individual can do giving a blank sheet and there go do your thing see show me what you can do and i hope he gets that chance again i'm afraid because as i previously mentioned i thought that this was going to happen with strange new worlds and captain christopher pike and i was really disappointed i haven't even finished that i don't know if i'm gonna watch another season of it i hope terry gets a chance 
to start fresh a new spin-off. Hopefully, hopefully, Paramount and the powers that be will give him the chance to do this. We've tried a lot of different things over the past decade. And it doesn't seem to be what well, I'm not alone here and not liking what's been shown. So I don't know how you folks feel about current Star Trek or the Star Trek from the past decade. For me, it's not Star Trek. And season three of Picard is Star Trek for me. I hope to see more of this. I'm afraid that the powers that be will either give Terry a chance to do whatever he wants, which is the most optimist thing that could happen and the best thing that could happen to Star Trek. Middle ground, he gets to work on this project and the powers want to bring it towards whatever message they want to do and he gets fired or he leaves and he quits because he doesn't have creative control over the project and the worst case is that they do do a spin-off and Terry doesn't have anything to do with the spin-off which would be really a shame I don't know I don't know what's going on in Hollywood I mean Hollywood has always gone through up, its up and downs this down has been progressive over a long period and is completely demolishing everything that I used to like about Hollywood so I I'm hopeful let's just all you know Get out there, comment, like, dislike the videos. Put your input. Your input is so important. That's why I'm making these videos. Because, yes, this is good. This is what I want. Hopefully more people like me are like, yes, this is what we want. And we will be heard. And we will make ourselves be heard. And... You can still do all the crap that you want to do, but please give us this little thing. We're not asking for much. Well, yes, we are asking maybe for a lot. But please give it to us. I don't know how to go about doing this. All I can do is be here and hopefully reach some of you to also want to do something to try to support this idea, this person, Terry Metalis, uh, this Star Trek Picard Season 3, we want more of this. Let it be known. That's my message for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, whether it is on Twitch, YouTube, uh, come and talk to me in Discord. The links are in my profile. It's easy to find. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you again so much.